Good morning class, good morning everyone. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate to you how to create a bootable USB flash drive to install an operating system. So the operating system actually we are going to create this time is Microsoft Windows 10. Okay, so we're going to create a bootable disk in order for us so that we can install an operating system so we are actually preparing an installer for windows 10 for our next lesson so okay so this is our lesson for quarter two in computer system servicing so let us start creating a votable usb flash drive so first to create a votable usb flash drive you double click actually this Rofos uh, <clears throat> USB formatting utility software. So you double click this one to run this program and then you click yes. Okay, so do you want to allow Rofos to check for application updates? So you just click no. Okay. This time, you in the device portion here, you click this one to select the device. So, since I have already inserted my USB, so if I'm going to remove this one, to remove, you can see the flash drive, actually this one, uh, has been removed in the device here. So, you can see there is no device. So, this is the device actually we are going to put. The Windows 10 operating system so that we can install. So here we are going to insert this one in a USB port. Okay, let us wait wait to detect the flash drive. Here you can see it is already detected by the operating system. So next, just make this as is a uh, ETFS type of file file system then next this is the volume label so you can actually change this one okay so next to import or to choose the operating system to write on our USB flash drive just click this click to select an image so you click this one to select our operating system so here actually i have saved my operating system iso file in local disk the when 10 uh, folder so we are going to locate that one here i'm going to scroll down and locate for local disk D, and then look for windows 10 when 10 uh, folder here and then you click open okay so here is the operating system folder so you click this one and then you click open and then you click the iso file for windows 10 so this is actually the operating system then you click open to select so i have downloaded actually this operating system online so after selecting the operating system you just click start and then you click and there is a, a prompt in your computer warning all the data on the device with this name will be destroyed so meaning you make sure that the the flash drive you are using has no important files or if it has an important files you make sure you have already backed up it because when you click ok all the files in that flash drive will all be destroyed or delete and replace with an operating system so you click ok and now it is starting to create a bootable usb flash drive with windows 10 operating system <clears throat> okay so while creating the file system this is actually the advantages of 
formatting our or reasons why we should reformat our computer. So first, your computer will not start. So meaning, if your computer will not start, you need to reformat. Okay, due to registry errors or has bad or black screen. So if it has a black screen, maybe one solution to that is to format your computer or to install an operating system. Another is your hard drive is full. So the easiest way to delete all the files on your hard drive, the unwanted files, is this one to format. Number three is if it has if your computer has too many errors. So if your computer is actually infected by viruses due to downloading cryptic files over the net, so it actually uh, displays many errors or unwanted errors. Okay, number four reasons why we reformat our computer is to upgrade your system. So meaning to upgrade is if your computer has an existing or current operating system which is Windows 7 and you want to upgrade your system to Windows 10 that is called upgrading or Windows 8 okay so for instance another is downgrade so if the specification of your computer actually doesn't meet with the standards of installing Windows 10 you downgrade it down downgrade it because it actually affects the performance of your computer if you're installing the latest operating system and your computer it's the specification is actually low in terms of the ram and the processor or the brain of the computer <clears throat> number five reason is your computer is running low so if you feel that your computer is running low you need to reformat that one. So, meaning reformatting or installing Windows, it will actually erase all files in the system files of local disk C. So, if your computer actually has two drives, meaning it has been partitioned before into two drives, which is the local drive C and local drive D, you can actually copy all the important files in local drive C and paste it on local disk D because there is actually an option for you to format only the C drive and keep all the files in the D drive or local disk D or E. So that's all actually uh, the very important reasons why we reformat or install an operating, a fresh copy of an operating system to improve the performance of your uh, computer. Okay, it's almost done copying the ISO files for Windows 10. <clears throat> okay, it's finalizing now. Okay, so we are already done creating the bootable flash drive for Windows 10 operating system. So, we can now close this one. Click this one to close the Rofos. And then, we are going to check the files inside our flash drive if it has already a Windows 8 operating system. So, we have already here the installer for Windows 10. This one is the executable file. Okay, so that is how to create a bootable USB flash drive with a Windows 10 operating system. So that's all I have to you today and thanks for watching.